That's my attempt at a sexy face, girl. <laughs> today like always my my hi baby girl yeah that's her tail wagon she's excited i'm just like working on the camera setup mm. <laughs> oh my god i can't do sexy at all i'm horrible at this i am horrible at being sexy i feel so bad for any guy i've ever slept with I don't know why you ever thought I was sexy. I'm not, I'm not sexy at all. Ah! That, um, uh, that was my boobs. Um, yeah. So you saw nothing, but my boobs knocked stuff over. Um, that's, that's the trouble of having a big chest. Um, yeah, there's positives and negatives to everything. And, uh, yeah, yeah, that's one of them. Okay, look, I have foundation on. Woo! Oh my gosh. Um, oh. And of course, every time I put foundation on, my face just immediately gets itchy. Not that I'm having an allergic reaction. I'm just, I don't know. I'm just like someone who gets itchy real easily. And not like Coke itchy. Not like that. I mean, just, it's more like, dry skin itchy and I haven't drank enough water today <sighs> I swear I feel something <sighs> and I can't get it off I think it's just my paranoia of my skin <sighs> as soon as I like put the powder down oh there it is <laughs> no it's definitely dog hair um, if you're a dog mom like me, you know that there's dog hair everywhere. <laughs> no matter how much you mop, sweet, not mop. I don't know why you would mop the dog hair. And no matter how much you vacuum, sweep, clean, dog hair gets everywhere. And my dog, not, well, not my, I have two dogs. But what I'm trying to say is, like, one of my dogs sheds constantly, and the other one, she only sheds right before... Oh, my God, I got it. Whew. The other one only sheds right before, like, the spring season or right before um, spring and right before winter. No, fall. And... <laughs> This motherfucker, she is shedding on everything. And I never see her shed, but she is just shedding everywhere. So it's just, it's, it's getting on everything. And that one's Maya. Maya's the one that's shedding on everything right now. Okay. So I thought about a funny commercial idea. And then I was like, why am I doing a weird commercial? I'm not even a commercial. But... I want to do it anyways. So here it goes. Whoosh. Are you in your mid-30s or 30 in general and you're tired of seeing all these influencers, makeup gurus, putting and caking on foundation and products and all this stuff because it doesn't work for your skin anymore. Your skin can't be plastered with stuff without looking bad anymore because you got wrinkles bitch you're aging then you've come to the right place i can show you how to deal with that aging skin because i am just like you honey i'm in my 30s and my skin isn't as youthful as it used to be so instead of caking on heavy creams under your eyes i recommend a liquid! It helps! A ton! It's better than anything else you've ever tried. And also, use a goddamn poof! A poof helps you put that stuff right in those creases. You're still gonna crease, cause bitch, you're old. But, the thing is, you won't get the lines anymore from the creasing from the stupid creams. Because they're too goddamn heavy for your face. 
Now, you'll be able to slay those bitches the way you used to. I got you, honey, and I'll show you how. Da -da 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 -da! Oh my god, that's so stupid. But I love it, so I hope you love it. I don't actually care if you love it or not. This isn't about you, this is about me. Which I'm lying, but pretty much nobody's watching my videos anyways, so I might as well do what I love to do and just be me, bitch. Be me. Do -do 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 -do. Yeah, I got some problems, but it's it's okay. It's okay. I also have like a conference call <laughs> at like one, and it's. 1037 right now, so I gotta hurry this shit up. Uh, ooh! Well, I have a snake nose now. Oh, well, it's just highlighter. Well, it's just concealer, so it's not an issue. Also, you guys, stop caring so much about your stupid under eye bags. Who gives a fuck you have skin? I, I don't know. Um... If you want to solve that problem and cover them up, get enough sleep, get enough water, um, meditate, rest, take care of yourself. Stop trying to put stuff over it when all you need to do is just take care of yourself. Mind blown, right? Mind blown. I'm just so tired. And then something else you guys should know, half those people who were sitting there and you're seeing these pictures of them having no under eye skin. It's photoshopped, my love. It's photoshopped. Unless you're seeing it in person and then what you see in person and what you see on camera. Two separate looks. Like usually when you see someone in person, it looks like too much makeup. But when you see them on camera, it's it's flawless. So you gotta you gotta learn that it's okay. It's okay to like have skin and take it from me I am the girl that I've literally if I don't eat enough protein style diet my under eyes get really really bad and I look stupid tired constantly and one of the guys I used to work with <sighs> I, he was, I loved him as a person so much, but you don't want to hear this when you already feel like you're, you're tired. You don't need somebody being like, um, you look exhausted. Are you okay? Every time, every fucking time he would always be like, you look exhausted. Have you been eating enough protein? And I'm like, I hate you. I hate you so much and I would be like no I'm trying like a vegan diet or a vegetarian diet right now and he's like you need to go eat meat I'm like I know <laughs> he would be like so mean about it because he would call me out in the middle of work wouldn't even just be like hey you know let's not call this bitch out on it fuck you actually no I I don't hate him for it because sometimes when you're working, girl, and I mean like having a job, when you're a working girl, sometimes it sucks and you need somebody to sit there and be like, hey, are you taking care of yourself? Because no, no, I wasn't. No, I wasn't. I am horrible at this thing called adulting and taking care of myself. I'm horrible at it. Again, don't swipe, dot, less is more. Honest to God, less is more. Unless you're in drag, and then, yes, yes, more is more. More is better. But if you're not, and you're just trying to do an average, everyday look, less is more. Less is goddamn more. Boop, boop. And I have no place to judge anybody, because <laughs> who am I? I'm just a girl that likes to observe and have an opinion. And... Sometimes, just because somebody else has, like, a unbelievable cheekbone line doesn't mean you have the same style cheekbones. Because I see some people who do it way too high, 
but it's not natural to their cheekbone style. So find where your cheekbone is and do it under it. Because it's not to go on the cheekbone. Because that's where blush and highlighter goes. But it's to go under the cheekbone. And, you know, I know most people and makeup people online, they all have like the same style face. Learn your face shape and learn where to put your stuff for your face shape. Also, also, I want to talk about this because it bugs the shit out of me. Not everybody is a yellow undertone. Stop putting makeup on people online, not just online, but on TV, on camera, with a yellow undertone when obviously they're a cold undertone. And I can see that shit so bad on screen and it bugs the crap out of me. I was like watching, yes, I'm going to admit to this and it's stupid because I know I'm too old for it, but uh, sometimes your foul mouth auntie um, loves to watch wholesome things, right? And it doesn't hurt that uh, I don't know why. I just have a thing for wholesome TV shows at times. And I started watching, like, the I think it's on Netflix. It's Ashley Garcia or whatever the TV show. Uh, Genius in Love, I think is what it's called. I, I'm not 100% sure. But she plays, she's like a rocket scientist thing, right? It's a cute little show. I adore it. It's adorable. But one of the boys on that show, named Stick, right? Also, side note, the majority of the characters who are lead characters are actually not white. Oh my god, it's amazing. They're actually Latino or, yeah, Latino. So it's fucking amazing and it's beautiful to see that. And two of like the side characters are white. Like they're not, they're main, they're more main characters now, but they're not the uncle and they're not Ashley. Oh my god, it's amazing. And I, I adore it because... The white characters are not main characters. They're just side characters. And it's great. It's greatness. Um, but one of these side characters named Stick. Um, I'm going to say this. And I feel so bad. But the makeup team did him dirty. Did this actor dirty. Oh my god, his face is super patchy. You can tell he's a cold tone like me. And they have orange color on him. Not orange, not orange, but they have yellow toned things on him. And you literally see it. And it's so fucking bad. And all I want to do is go shh and like buy him the right color for his makeup because they did him fucking dirty. And I feel so bad because you literally look at him next to the other white girl um, that's on the show and you're like, oh, they literally put her color on him. They literally put it on him. And she's like one of those overly Instagrammy tanned girls. She's beautiful. I am not talking shit. I'm just saying she's one of those overly tanned Instagram skin tones, which is like an olive based and... <laughs> Her makeup is on point, but you can tell when they stand next to each other that she, by far, is the reason why they keep using that kind of makeup on him. Because they only had one white person color, which I'm fine with. I'm fine with. Because everybody else in that cast looks flawless with makeup. They did a good job on them. Which is about time to have the right color for other people. Whoop. Okay. Ha, na, 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 na. Bam. Done. No, I'm kidding. We're not doing that. But soon we'll be working on the eyes. Oh my god. I don't know why my nose. A 
also, side note, I'm going to give you real, real information that these gurus don't like to tell you. But you don't have to put liquid in this. It literally works almost the same way. You just have to add a little bit extra product. So if you don't know how much product to add at the beginning, don't put liquid in this. Because what it does, it will absorb some of that product so you actually put on the right amount. It's perfect. So until you figure out your color. Also, I don't use this to put on foundation. I use a brush. You can literally do the same thing. You can stipple this or you can... I, I do like a circular motion. That's just me. But... Honestly, I barely use that thing. This is only for this. I don't even use it for powder because it kind of defeats the purpose of the powder, you know? And then, so if you're a girl, like I said, with wrinkly skin under your eyes, which we all get it. I've actually, I've always had wrinkly under eye skin, even at like, oh my God, I remember being like, 19 and I was freaked out about my under eyes because I was like oh my god I look so old and I'm over here 19 years old look like I'm 16 for a good few years so I had no no worries I don't know why I sat there and like constantly worried also I don't bake I don't bake I, I don't do it. I think it's stupid. I think it's stupid. If you have the right under products, like I mean, if you have the right um, moisturizer and I use primer just because like I said um, in a previous video, I have really oily skin and so the way to combat that is not to dry out your skin. The whole reason why your skin is getting oily is because of the fact that you need it. Your skin is trying to lubricate itself and keep itself looking good. So what you need to do is add moisture. So why do you keep caking on things that are going to dry you out? Oh, and caking on under your eyes, of course that's going to cause like dry edge and issues that's why i use the poof because a little poof you could just push 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 and bam it sets in there it sets in the creases so i can like move i still have creases nothing is going to change that but like stupid botox and i want to try it but i'm scared all at the same time right so i don't i'm pretty sure i wouldn't do it I don't know. I think I would. I'm just so scared of like, I don't know how it works. But I'm poor, so I don't have that option. <laughs> I'm too poor to be talking like I have that type of money. I have a little scar right here because I had a uh, skin tag removed. So that one fucking hurt like a bitch. So I just like to cover it up sometimes. I've never covered it up before. Like I have in previous videos. But before I got it, I never covered the skin tag. And now I'm like, Ooh, I got something really weird just sitting on my chest. But I don't know. I'm like weird. I like scars. So I don't want to like be self-conscious about it. Because I think scars tell a story. And with stories comes great conversations. So, I don't mind. Da, da, da. <laughs> now, on to the eyeball. No, not eyeballs yet. Not eyeballs yet. <laughs> on to... I don't know what I'm on to now. Actually, I do. Highlighter and blush and then I'm probably gonna put on a little extra actually I don't know it looks pretty good I don't think I need contour I don't yeah no so 
we're gonna try this because it's such a pretty color but when I ordered this I did not know it was a cream I thought it was a powder so I don't know how to use I, I honestly don't know how to use the creams well on powder because I need powder to set my makeup just like I said I'm oily so I need something to set the liquids so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna try to do it with my fingers and we're gonna see how that goes I don't know I don't know how that's gonna go I'm a little scared but we're gonna we're gonna try it we're we're gonna try this Ooh, scared shitless And then I'm going to try like mixing two colors in my palette because I love both colors. And then I like to tap, 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 tap. You know, one of the great things I got told and it, I wasn't even told it. I like watched it on a video way back in the day. You remember when like they did that show where they took people, I think it was on the Style Network, I'm pretty sure. Can you believe there used to be a channel called Style Network? I know, it's crazy. But it was where they took someone, they took someone who had horrible fashion, their families had to like put them up for it, and they would give them like a $5,000 credit card to go buy new clothes, like these stylists would help them, and then there was a makeup artist and a... Um, hairstylist who went in and, and gave them brand new tips and looks and all that. Well, that makeup artist one day did, I, I can't remember what she was doing. It was before, because it was in the early 2000s. It was really before makeup gurus online were a thing. She was giving a tip on how to apply blush she actually told them to put more blush than what you expect on because throughout the day it will wear down or go away and I think this was before we realized you could put like a spray on and it lock that bitch in but she also was like smile so you want to put it I can't do a well and smile but she was like you want to smile and put it on the rosy parts right so when you smile it's here because that's how you determine where you're supposed to put it. Because people put them in, like, the wrong places. So we'll try to do that. <laughs> that's a little much. Bam. Oh, my God. I think I put too much on. That's okay. You know how we fix that? Actually, it's kind of bam, bam, bitches, bam, bam. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm kind of feeling it, but you know how I fix it? I just powder that shit just a little. Bam. Take that away. Who cares? Mm, we're going to enjoy this. Ooh, I don't know. I'm kind of enjoying the extra little boo, boo. And it's also shiny, which is why... I keep getting this boom, boom, bitches. Oh my God, I'm I'm a hot mess. I'm so sorry. I hope it appears better on camera than it does right now. Probably not, but who cares? <laughs> it's all about me. <laughs> no, not really. So I'm gonna try this. Bam, 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 bam. Mm. Okay, so the top end technique kind of works. So all you need to do is tamp. Tamp. Don't slam into your face. Just lightly tap like you're giving yourself a little massage, you know. Ooh. Guilty pleasure. Yes. Bam, bam. Bam, bam, bam. Tapping on say bitches. Tapping those dreams away. I, I don't know why I said dreams away. No. We're tapping for manifestation so think about the things you want 
You want to get that bag? I'm going to get that bag. I'm going to get that bag. I got that bag. I got all that money. I'm that girl, honey. I am that bitch. I am that bitch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I'm so nerdy. <laughs> I don't also over like to do highlighter just because that's just not me. I will overdo blush all day. Highlighter, not so much. But you can also go through with like a another brush and like kind of clean the edges up if you really want. It's not that, not that much. And not that hard. Not softened it. I feel very fierce right now. Like, rawr! <laughs> Woo! Girl. I don't even know how long I've been doing this for. I need to... I need to move the fuck on! Because I think we're already in 20 minutes. And I've been just ridiculous. So I'm not going to do like a ton because we're going for sexy look, you know, sexy. And like I told you before, I'm really not a sexy person. So it's really hard for me to be like, it's a sexy look because I don't, I don't really know how to be sexy. I try really hard, but it's, it comes off as dorky and nerdy more than anything and that's okay sometimes you just get to be a nerdy person so again get yourself one of these it's like a brush color swap pad oh my god I don't care who you get it from you can find these on Amazon or you can go literally to your TJ Maxx Ross whatever and they're there I love these they take off the color from my brush. It's literally like a a plastic kind of I don't know, it's like a, it's not a mesh. It's like a plastic thing inside. It's like a plastic sponge style and it, you scrape and it cleans the bristles. I love it. Okay. Let's do that's not even the brush I'm gonna use. This one. This is the brush I want. I don't care what brush number it is. It doesn't matter. You could do this with your fingers too. And it probably will turn out just as pretty. Just remember. Enjoy and have fun. Because honestly, having fun is the only thing that matters. Because you're not going to look sexy if you don't have confidence so the number one way to have confidence is to do your mantra every morning tell yourself how bad of a bitch you are because boo you are a bad bitch you know put on whatever makes you feel the sexiest in the whole wide world and rock your shit because, first off, the only thing that makes you look sexy is confidence. You could wear no makeup and still be the sexiest bitch in that room as long as you have confidence. You could have all the makeup in the whole wide world, and if you don't have the confidence deep down inside, you're not going to be sexy, but you can fake confidence. I do it all the time. <laughs> I just listen to some music, I let it get in my head, and I'm like, yes! yes we are bad bitch we are bad bitch and then I just I just like take it with me just think of an Aries or Leo oh my god you want true confidence think of yourself as a Leo they'll do that all day to you and they'll give you all the confidence you need I promise you'll end up being like the most confident person you've ever met in your life if you just think of yourself as a Leo Ooh, I'm kind of feeling this. Ooh. Dun, 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 dun. 
Dun, dun, dun. Maya's fallen asleep over there in the corner. If I grabbed the camera, you guys would like, I would show it to you, but <laughs> she would wake up by that point. She's all asleep on the little couchy, like she always does. She's my ride or die. Sorry, Clarissa. She's my ride or die. <laughs> Ooh, I'm feeling it. Man. Actually, just a little bit more here. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I, um, I yawn. I have some problems. I know that. Who cares? And my problem is I feel myself right now. Yes, I'm feeling myself. Oh, get it. Oh, get it. Yes. Ooh, love that. I thought I saw something down my shirt. That's why I like stopped and was like, huh. But it was just like the button right here. <laughs> I could see the button down in my shirt. I was like, oh my God, there's a bug. Don't freak out. Don't freak out. <laughs> but there wasn't a bug. It was just stitching. Okay, I know it looks like a mess. You gotta give me a time, boo. Give me time. We'll fix that right up. So we gonna go in with this one. So some people do their sexy looks and they do it with like um, blacks. I am super pale. Black looks great, but it doesn't give me the sexy alluring look as a brown does. Remember... Just because a color works on my skin, it may not work on yours. Um, what you have to do is determine what color works, what colors work great for your skin tone. And you don't have to stick with those. You can move around and do others. But the thing is, is you got to figure out what works for you. And once you do, then you can play around and figure out other colors that you can pair with the bases, the basic ones that work really well to create this elaborate and beautiful looks that you're looking, you're going for. Dun, dun, dun. I know a lot of people put highlighter up in that area, but I legitimate, oh my God, I forgot to do my eyebrows again. Oh girl, I'll do them off camera in just a second. Cause oh, I feel like your eyebrows are the first thing you should do too. Cause they set the shape of your face, but my face is already set. So not, not my face, but I mean, my eyebrows don't move. They don't go anywhere. They're so fucking bushy that there's not anything I can do about it. I was talking about something and then, oh, I was going to say, I don't like putting highlighter up here or, you know, down here just because of the fact that highlighter is almost the same tone and brightness and shininess as most shiny freaking um most shiny eyeshadows now so it really just doesn't matter you get the same look and feel easily from from both oh i'm feeling this we might mm, no i'm feeling this so we're gonna carry that down here right and I want to like accentuate it I don't know why I said it like this because I'm feeling myself yeah I'm feeling myself okay 
Okay, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. So, no, no, I'm not. I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry for feeling myself today. It's all about self-love today. All about feeling that sexy freaking Venus energy. You want to feel like a goddess, you better feel like Venus. Yes. Aphrodite all day. That's the sexy pill we're going for. Aphrodite all day. And when I come back, I'll have my eyebrows and my mascara done. When I'm when I'm done with this. Dun, dun, dun. I burped a little. My bad. Burping's not sexy unless you're one of those, I was going to say weirdos, but they're not weird. Like my best friend, her and her husband fucking burp with each other. I don't find it sexy, but they find each other super sexy. So there's something sexy about being yourself with the person that you're meant to be with. So it really doesn't matter what you do. You'll always be sexy for them. Ooh. Yes. Yes. I think I need to retire this brush soon. Do you guys see, do you see how I've had this for so long? It's a paintbrush. It's honestly a paintbrush. I've had this since I was like, oh my God. 16, 17. It's like my favorite thing. <laughs> it's, it's my favorite. So it's so hard to be like, you need to retire it. I'm like, no. I'm not ready to retire it. We're going to add a little bit of gold up in there. Oh, right there. Oh, my gosh. Oh, look at that gold. I feel like everybody's sexier with a little, a little gold in there. Yeah, you're probably right. I was probably fine before, but... Who cares? I don't want gold. I don't want a little gold in my life. <laughs> Just to intensify the look. <laughs> and then what? What I like to do is just go over the center colors just one more time to just intensify them a little bit out because I like to blend them out. <sighs> I honestly think with almost any color you can blend. Any color you can blend as long as you apply it properly like if there's not enough pigment in it and you have to over apply that's great because you can actually blend that um with the applications of putting it on it will take a lot longer um but it's not as hard to blend those out as something that's overly pigmented because then when you put it on there it's it's already there and you're just kind of like ooh, i gotta blend the edges which you still can do that but it's you would have to go with something a little less pigmented to like get those edges to move out. But I think everything can be blended super easily. Ooh, do you see that boo? Mm. Sexy goddess energy. Ooh. Ooh. Yes, yes queen. And I'll be back. Hi, I'm back. Now I have my eyebrows done and my eyelashes. 
oh my god, we need to really talk. Um, <laughs> everybody wants long eyelashes until you naturally have long eyelashes. And putting on mascara on the under eyelash is a bitch when you have naturally really long eyelashes. Because it gets, oh, I got eyelash stuff everywhere. But it gets all under the eye. And it's annoying. It's annoying because your eyelashes hang down and they start to hit it and then you get little black marks all over there. Nobody talks about that bullshit. Everybody wants long eyelashes. Everyone. You should only want them on the top, not on the bottom. They're assholes on the bottom. Okay, now we're back. Okay. <laughs> Whew. Oh, Jesus. That chair. Okay, though, okay, now to finish this look, we're just gonna not stare at my mustache. Mm hmm mm hmm Not stare at that, but we're going to put on stuff for our lips. I am so bad at this. This is the, <laughs> this thing I am so horrible with. And this thing, I mean, lip liner. So, what I'm gonna do is do how I, oh my god, where is it? There it is. Is how I <laughs> kind of like to do my lip liner, which I've literally just started learning how to do lip liner. So this is a, <sighs> I don't need my teddy falling out. This is a new thing for me, okay? So, ooh, we don't also need that to like fall out. So I take it, I don't even know if this is going to adjust. Eh. Cause I can't seem to do the edge on my lips to save my life. With the pen, like I can't do it with the pen to save my life. I don't know why it should be easier, but it's not for me. I also undercut my lips. I can't be the only person that does that. I'm like over the top afraid I'm going to have like too big of lips. So I don't want that. Okay, now I can use this. And I know it's super weird because you're like, why are you doing that? You're literally going to put color on top. I don't know. I just don't like the look of just people outlining just the outside. I think it looks trashy. Um, so... I like the full lip to be lined before I put the lipstick on. And then I do a rubbing motion. I don't know. I don't know what caused me to do that. I'm just dorky like that. <gasps> it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> now that we have the lip liner on, now we're going to put the actual lipstick. I'm scared. I'm so scared. What if I mess this up and all this beautiful stuff goes away? It's fine. It's fine. I got this. I can do this. Whew.
the lines on this. Oh, horrible. Horrible. One of my mustache hairs. It's all bright and red now. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. You know what? We're gonna clean this up. Yep. Cause I am horrible at lipstick. Oh my god. Yep, I should have just done the lip liner and that's it. It's okay. It's okay, hun. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. I'm having a mental breakdown, if you can't tell. Oh shit, my titty didn't fall out, did it? Let's hope not. <laughs> I already got like one in my um, thumbnails banned. Not banned, but cited as sexual going again. And it was just me making an angry face with my tongue out. But they saw it as sexual. And I had to fight it because I was like, I don't, I don't understand how this can be seen as sexual. I had no titties out, nothing. I know it wasn't like me. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing with my life anymore. Can I really be a makeup? I'm not even a makeup channel. But can I really be a makeup person if I can't put on a stupid lip thing? I can slay eyes all day, every day. 
in the most basic of ways. But I can't do lips. It blows my mind. Let's put powder on the edges and then just be done because my ass is tired of this. I'm just so tired of it. I'm just like, this is my life. This is what I have to deal with. So, who cares? There was like a look I wanted to try and it had a lot to do with like fading your lips out and I feel like regardless of me wanting to try that or not, I just did. <laughs> Much better. anymore and I'm gonna fuck it up more it's just weird because I have like one lip what not one lip but one side of my lip that's slightly taller than the other because everybody not everybody knows this but your face is not symmetrical no um hardly no one's face is symmetrical um but one of my lips is slightly bigger and it like, I try to undercut that lip all the time, but I just, I just met it at what like level it is and it just bothers me on how much I fucked it up. Okay, so I'm done. Peace out. I'm going to take a couple of videos and put them at the end so you guys can see what I look like. Fully done. Bye. Peace out. Girl, don't forget to clean today. We all need to clean. We all need to clean. My whole room is dirty right now. Peace out. <laughs>